Hi guys, welcome to a new tutorial. Um, we're going to do something a little fun in this one. We're going to make a confetti particle system that you can use in your projects and your games for when the player accomplishes something. You can just spray confetti at them like, yay, confetti! So, you'll notice I have a texture here. I'm just going to open this in Photoshop really quick. These are all just shapes that I've chosen. I wanted one that was just like a flake sort of thing, but I've got the, the beveled shape the heart, a rounded star, and then a spiky star. These ones, like I always find these ones in confetti, the spiky ones, I like those ones. I don't know why, they're just, it's a, uh, it's a nice shape, it's satisfying. I've put the texture in, I put this in a Google Drive for you guys afterwards. I'm making a new material, the confetti underscore M. I'll open that up and quickly grab the texture and drag this in. Hold M and left click for a multiply, and then we're just going to quickly search for a particle color. The particle color is going into the emissive, and then we're adding the texture to the multiply the alpha of the particle color and plugging this into opacity. And now we're just going to quickly change this to a translucent on the material. And we will compile what well, we won't compile, it's not a blueprint, we'll apply and save. Now we have that ready, we can start a particle. So we'll make a particle system, confetti underscore p. Now we're going to open this up. We're going to go into required and put our confetti in. And while that's loading we're just going to go to the next bit. So still in required we're going to search for sub UV and now we know that this is 2 by 2 so horizontal images 2 sub 2. Their interpolation hmm. we want to random. We want random and we are not going to add any random change, so we're going to right click and we need to find sub UV, sub image index. And now you notice we're getting some randomization in here. And that's pretty much, pretty much what we want. Although, if we wanted a perfectly, uh, a perfectly distributed amount so each should get the same amount of time we want in value of 0 and 0 and then at 1, 1 and 1. Um, so we're going to go to spawn really quick and then we are actually going to set their constant to 0 because I don't want any spawning. I'm going to add one array element to the first list and I'm going to put 75 of these Oof, there they go. Now you can't really see those, so their lifetime I'm going to change to 10 seconds. Oops. 10 seconds. There we go. Ta da! Now I actually go to required. I scroll down a little bit and emit a loops. One. I only want one of this to happen. There they go. Now their initial velocity I'm just going to change all the max to 100, all the minimums to minus 100. Poof. There we go. Lots of different particles flying everywhere. Their initial size I'm going to change to be a minimum of 5 and maybe a maximum of 15. There we go. Their color of life I don't want. I'm going to delete color of life now. They're going to be disappeared for a second. I'm going to find color and go with an initial color seed. And now we have them all popping everywhere. Now I'm just going to change this to yellow. So there we go. There's a yellow. Now I'm actually going to change this from a vector constant to a vector constant curve. And add an array element. And then the out value here is what I'm going to put to yellow. There we are. Just slightly. No, just yellow. That'll do. Oh, there we go. There we go. Fly. Now. The reason I've done this is because I'm going to add some more into the spawn. So I'm going to go back to spawn and under burst list I'm going to add another burst list. The count I'm going to set to 75 but this time the time I'm going to set to 0.1. So there's a tenth of a second delay. Now back in the initial color I'm going to add another element. I'm going to set the in value to 0.1 and then set the color to maybe just red. Poof! There we go. Now we've got some red ones in there. I'm going to add another array element really quick and I'm going to say 0.2 and I'm going to change this one to green. So 
100% green and then add another element and at 0.3 this is just going to be 100% blue maybe a lighter blue pure blue is a bit too dark there you go now we go back to the spawn and we're going to add a, another couple of spawns in 75 at 0.2 and then 75 at point 0.3 and now we have our three different colored particles all popping around there we go now what we're going to do is we're just going to give them an initial rotation we'll leave that at default between 0 and 1 so we can see if we open this up 0 and 1 so now they'll all get a random amount of rotation huzzah Woohoo! And now I'm going to go to a rotation rate, an initial rotation rate, and give them a rotation rate so that they can spin as they fly. Yeah! Now I'm going to give them acceleration, I'm going to say constant acceleration, and then in the Z I'm going to put minus 50 so that they fall after their initial velocity. And then I'm going to go to their collision, after collision. I'm going to change the collision completion option to freeze and that will stick them to objects when they collide. I'm just going to quickly save this, go to the level. I'm going to drag out the confetti. Oh, we can see that they're going already. No, we don't want to see them on the floor. Now we're going to open this up because we need to restart the sim and the level, so we'll restart level. And here they go. Confetti. Yeah! all on the floor cool now I'm just gonna quickly go in here and I'm going to add a multiply and a constant to the color because I actually want these to give out a little bit of the glow but not too much I'm just gonna add a 2 to that I'll play that and save and now We away they fly, away they fly. Uh, we are going to bring this down. I'm just going to restart the level. Yeah. And now we have some raining confetti that sticks to the ground. I actually want these to be a bit brighter still, so I'm going to turn this up. I think it's because they're so small; they're not giving off any any loveliness. We'll change this to five perhaps apply and let's uh, give this a second to recompile the shader come on you can do it shader you can do it shader there we go oh you can see this glow now in the preview Pong. there we go so we get like this nice little glow to them it's not not overpowered but it's a it's a nice additional touch it just brightens them up a little bit just restart them again. Yeah, nice and cool. You can see that the scattering that we get is rather random. And then they come. Yay! Okay, cool. So we have it. We have some nice confettis uh, that fall. I mean, we could try and influence these a little bit more perhaps this is where I just break things let's uh whoa oh yes that little wobble is actually really nice I mean it's a bit too much in there so we're gonna go to the orbit I added an orbit that's what I added put 10 on the Y and now if we put 10 on the X as well and we get like this nice little wobble from them as they're falling so Oof. Yeah. It just kind of looks like they're blowing in the wind a little. There we go. I quite like that. Here they come. And poof. There we go. So you have it, guys. Uh, a nice, cute confetti particle system. Uh, it sticks to the floor and other mesh and disappears.
Now, do we have any alpha in here? I mean, we can do a start alpha. Perhaps if we did a constant curve, we can make these fade out. So, let's give them a point and say they have an out value of 1 at 0. Let's give it another point and at 1 they have an out value of 0. So now they should fade out rather than just disappear off the floor. Um, so let's just quickly save that and restart. Now we can watch these. They should fade away rather than just pop out of existence. Oh no, call me a liar. <laughs> Why you gotta call me a liar? Come on. Uh, I guess that's because it's not really an alpha of a life, is it? It's just a color of a life. Uh, it's just a, a star color. At uh, start alpha, rather. Hmm. So let's kill that real quick. We'll kill the points. Oh, I just got ruined there. Yeah, I did. I need to change this back to a constant and put the constant to 1. There we go. So I don't want them to disappear. And the only way we're going to have access to the alpha is in the color of a life. But if I use that, it's going to overwrite our lovely color image seed. I could get rid of these points, but then they're just going to be black. Um, yeah, so we're going to get rid of the color of life. We'll just leave them popping out of existence. But there we go. Oh, these are so pretty. Aren't they nice, guys? There we go. So let's quickly check them in that level again. And there we are. Some really nice little glowy particles. Hope you guys um, have found that to be interesting and something that some of you can use. It's just a bit of fun this one. I've been making a different tutorial. I'm going to run you guys through making um, a breakout style game uh, and I was recording earlier and then everything died on me. My recording software just decided it hated me. Um, and I lost a lot of the footage, so I need to start that again, which is a shame. Um, so I just decided, you know what, I'll chill out by making something uh, really uh, relaxed. So that's what this is. I um, hope you guys enjoy that, and I'll see you next time.